Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a plastic breakdown of the Paul Macbeth Hades. An understable, distance driver that's perfect for intermediate level players, but then also even for those faster arm speed players because of the different plastic types that the Hades comes in, which means with this one mold, you can hit a wide spectrum of different shots just solely depending on the plastic type that you take. Now let's go ahead and jump right in taking a look at the differences when it comes to the profile. Now in general, being a Speed 12, the Hades has a very sharp rim. And when it comes to ESP and Big Z, it has a slight amount of dome to it versus Crystal, as you can see, is very flat in the flight plate when compared to even to just a regular stock ESP. But then when it comes to the Proto ESP, not as much dome as the stock, just a nice, slight, gradual dome to it. But then compared to another Proto ESP, they also come very pop topped. So if you're looking for the flattest Hades, Crystal is your best bet. And if you're looking for more of a pop top, definitely some of the stock ESP, but also some of the proto ESPs as well. So when it comes to the flight, the most torque resistant is going to be the Crystal Hades. I mean, th this thing is a completely different disc. For us slower medium arms, it is a perfect wind fighter. So if you need an overstable run of Hades, look for the Crystal. Now, if you're needing something that's going to be very straight, straighter than the crystal, still have a good amount of fade at the very end, but just hold straight longer, that's going to go to the Big Z. It is one of my favorite runs because of just how straight it is and how dependable it can be. But if you're a newer player or a slower arm, the easiest to throw is going to be the prototype ESPs. These things just get a lot of natural turn to it. They do have some sneaky fade at the very end, but still definitely the best for those slower arms. And then if you're needing a Hades, it's going to give you great understability early on, but a harsh finish to hold those big S curving shots, then you have to look at just the stock ESP. Just throw them flat with a little bit of an Anheuser release and you can watch them have these nice turnover lines that then just at the very end, they'll check up and Heiser out. Now, if you're wanting a Hades for forehand shots, the best is going to be the crystal because it's so torque resistant. It can handle that extra power from forehand versus the big Z is probably the second best. It's going to get a little bit more turn than the crystal, but it's still going to fight its way out harder than either the stock or the prototype. So you can still trust it even if there's a mild headwind. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the different flight patterns of all these plastic types that I've been talking about side by side. Again, the most understable, the most beginner friendly is going to be the Proto ESP. It's just going to hold those turns a nice long way. Again, sneaky um, overstability at the very, very, very end of the flight. The stock ESP is kind of in the middle. It gets a nice amount of turn and has a decent strong finish at the very end. And then you have the big Z that's going to hold straight, not a whole lot of turn when thrown on a flat line, but it is going to hold very straight and then have a really good strong finish. So if you're wanting something for the wind, I would step up to the big Z that is going to be very good in the wind. I think uh, in a mild, moderate headwind, it's going to kind of mirror this stock ESP very well. But if you just need super beefy overstable for a Hades, then I would go with the crystal. If you are a slower medium arm speed, my goodness, this crystal may be all you need for headwinds. It is that much more overstable than any of the other Haiti runs. I, I, it's, it's truthfully, it is another disc. I can't stress it enough. It is like an entirely different disc. All right, so the Hades in general is a very popular mold from Paul Macbeth, and I love throwing the Hades, whether it be forehand like this, backhand, it just does so many different things, which is why I almost always have one in the bag. I really think so many players just switching out the plastic, you can hit such a wide variety of shots and also really find the Hades that works best for your game. All right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed and found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. That way YouTube will recommend it to more people who could find this video useful. As always, thank you so much to my sponsors, Discraft and Disdot. Till next time, keep banging them chains.